Hey guys, so we are covering 10 things you didn't know about Krillin. I make my pronunciation errors because some of these words are pretty hard. But anyway, let's get started. So Krillin's name, like most characters in the series, is a pun. In his case, it's Japanese source Krillin and Kuririn. R and L are being interchangeable as Japanese cannot pronounce L. It's made up of two parts. The first two syllables come from Kuri, which means chestnut in reference to Krillin's shaved head. The chestnut pun also carried over to his daughter, Maron, which is a brown chestnut in French. The second part of his name, Lin, comes from Shorin or Shaolin in Chinese, as Krillin's early illustrations were based on Shaolin monks. Krillin's name also comes from Kuri Kuri or Kurin Kurin, which is an onomatopoeia for something cute and round, like Krillin's head. Kuri Kuri can also mean bold. Although Krillin's name is officially written as Kulilin, it is usually pronounced as Kuririn or Krillin, as it is also said that Krillin itself, the English romanization seems to be a play on the word Krill, which is a small piece of shrimp like Krujin, and it's a Swedish term for small fry or fish. And this again is a reference to Krillin's small size. So yeah, we just went balls deep on his name. The conception idea of Krillin was introduced into the series by Kozuhiko Torishima, who was Akira Toriyama's editor at the time. The reasoning for Krillin's introduction was because Kozuhiko felt that Goku's personality in Dragon Ball was a bit too bland and he wanted another character to make things more interesting. So Toriyama decided to add Krillin as a minor character, but over time Krillin became Goku's best friend. More than likely, Krillin's conception is the Chinese heritage or a representation of what it is within the Dragon Ball universe. As mentioned earlier, Krillin was based on the idea of Shaolin monks. His first appearance in Dragon Ball, he wears a yellow short sleeve Chinese attire. The six dots on his forehead are scars from moxibustion burns, which is a traditional Chinese medicine therapy to stimulate the circulation of blood and qi to the meridian points. This practice is common within Shaolin temples. Likewise, Krillin is also not naturally bold. Due to his initial monkish training, he shaves his head. During his training of Goku under Master Roshi, Krillin comments that all who aspire to master the martial arts shave their heads in order to unfetter their ki. If you guys didn't notice, Krillin doesn't have a visible nose. Now before you guys start thinking, sorry Yama must have forgotten to draw him one, but the event might have happened, he might have forgotten, Toriyama forgets a lot of things. But in Dragon Ball book in special, when asked why Krillin does not have a nose, Toriyama responded with Krillin has a physical idiosyncrasy that allows him to breathe through his skin. Although that didn't really explain why he doesn't have a nose, it does explain how he's still alive considering that fact. Krillin still has the function to smell things as seen in Dragon Ball, and a fun fact about Krillin's illustration is that earlier on in the series and throughout the entire manga, Krillin had white eyes. However, later on, they seem to have disappeared completely, making the inside of his eyes the same colour as his skin. Even though Toriyama designed Krillin for GT, giving him the moustache and grey hair like in the anime, the design he had differs from the GT one. In Toriyama's design, he has a dungaree and a shirt while in GT anime, it's an old man style suit with a tie. So, have you ever wondered how strong Krillin is? I'm sure all Dragon Ball Z fans think these questions. So, according to Daijun Shu 7, after unlocking his potential by Dynamic Guru, Krillin's power level was 13,000. The last rating of Krillin's power level is at 75,000 during the battle with Frieza when Krillin's potential has finished unlocking. After the Frieza saga, power level was more or less obsolete. However, later information revealed that Krillin is actually the strongest male earthling. Yes, even putting him above Ten Shin-san and Master Roshi. This was stated by Toriyama himself in an interview. There is also other official documentation stating this fact. In Krillin's profile for Resurrection of F, he is referred to as the strongest earthling warrior. Even in Universal Survival Saga Guide, Krillin is also referred as the strongest earthling. The Japanese voice actor for Krillin, Mayumi Tanaka, also stated that he is the strongest earthling warrior. So if you guys are wondering who is the strongest guy on earth, it's Krillin. However, regardless of what the evidence says, it's still a huge debate among the community whether or not the strongest human is Krillin or Tien. In terms of an in-universe feat, is basically always a debate over whether Krillin's destructor disc cutting off Frieza's tail or Tien's tri-beam holding off imperfect cell is more impressive. 
but in reality, Krillin's destructive disc actually had an effect on Frieza, whereas Tien's last stand against Cell didn't really damage him or it somehow forced him into a hole for a good 5 minutes and even less in the manga but again it's debatable by the fans, probably let us know your opinion in the comment section below. If we include filler, Krillin is the only character to come face to face with each main villain in Dragon Ball Z from Vegeta, Frieza, Cell and Boo. As a result, Krillin has also died more than any other character in the series, having been killed by Tambourine, Frieza, Android 17 and 18 in Future Trunks' timeline, Super Boo and Android 17 in GT. I mean Krillin's death also was shown to trigger many of his loved ones, specifically Goku, first in Dragon Ball when Tambourine kills him, second on Namek when Frieza blows him up, and Goku's anger raged him to the point where his best friend's death was the key component into him becoming the legendary Super Saiyan and granted him the power to defeat Frieza. Krillin's death against brainwashed Android 17 in GT also triggered 18 to attack her own brother. I guess Krillin has that effect, the man is truly loved by his people. Krillin is one of the few characters who has broken the fourth wall in the manga. Now some of you might be wondering what do you mean by breaking the fourth wall, what is that? Well he became much like Deadpool, yes Deadpool, what I mean is that the character becomes aware that he is a comic or a curated platform, allowing interaction between the reader and the character. Krillin has done this a few times, one of the times was when he questions that the various sequences of Goten and Trunks performing the fusion dance are all photocopies of the same set of drawings due to how each set of panels appears to be identical. Krillin also breaks the fourth wall in Broly the second coming by saying, none of you would have lasted a season without me. Now we know that Krillin didn't really participate in fusion in the series, but in the 13th issue of Weekly Shonen Jump, they featured Pririn, or Prilin, the what if hypothetical fusion between the characters Krillin and Piccolo. In the collectible card game he is named Piccolin, and this fusion is more of a parody to the end result of the demonstration that Piccolo and Krillin done to teach young Goten and Trunks on how to fuse in the Boo saga. Realistically, this fusion would not be feasible to, as both Piccolo and Krillin's bodies are not similar enough to actually create a fusion through this technique. This fusion was simply an illustration and never made it to the manga or the anime. Despite the hypothetical nature of fusion, Prililin makes the first playable appearance in Dragon Ball Fusions. It is suggested that the fusion becomes actually possible due to the side effect of warping of time space within the time space rift. There is also the X Prililin and the X fusion of Piccolo and Krillin, as well as the X fusion counterpart of Prillin. Unlike Prillin, X Prillin is not hypothetical as X fusion allows two characters wearing the tempo rings to fuse after performing the fusion dance regardless of differences in size or power between the two people that fuse. And the other shown fusion is in the game was Gorilin and the X-Fusion of Krillin and Kid Goku who featured appeared in Dragon Ball Fusion and Kree Gohan and X-Fusion of Krillin and Teen Gohan who first appeared in Dragon Ball Fusion. So we all know Krillin ends up becoming a police officer in the end of the Dragon Ball series and he's one in Dragon Ball Super, but in different platforms Krillin undertakes other roles. In Dragon Ball Online, Toriyama offered Krillin to be a martial art teacher. Also in the crossover manga Cross Epic, Krillin runs the Kuri Chopper Marine train coaster with Tony Tony Chopper. They are the first shown when they learn about the Shenron Tea Party. The train is boarded by Piccolo and Roronoa Zoro, who save it from being hit by Emperor Pilaf and Buggy's falling Tetri number 55 airship. In Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F, when Bulma calls Krillin his cell phone to inform him about Frieza's return, the ringtone that plays is We Are, which is the original opening theme the One Piece anime. This is likely a reference to Krillin's Seiyu Miyumi Tanaka's role, voicing the One Piece series main protagonist Monkey D. Luffy. This also applies to the Funimation dub where Krillin's voice, Sonny Straight, voices Usopp. A fun fact about Miyumi Tanaka, the voice of Krillin, is that she also voices Yajirobe, Baba Rene, and Snow. 
In January 2007, Oricon conducted a poll in which they asked Japanese manga and anime fans which characters from any anime and manga they would most likely to see in their own spin-off series. Krillin ranked third in the men's poll and sixth in the overall poll. And in the poll of the top 10 best characters featured in the book Dragon Ball Forever, Krillin was voted number 7 by the Japanese fans. He was the highest of the humans by a large margin. For some reason, Krillin is such a popular character in Japan all over the world he always tops in character polls. Okay guys, time for a quick fire round, keep up with me. Krillin was born on October 29, age 736 in the Dragon Ball universe. He weighs 45kg which is 99 pounds, he's 5'4", 153cm tall. He trained as a monk at Oran Temple since he was 4 years old, but he was actually the weakest student and was frequently bullied, and this was the main reason he sought to train under Master Roshi, so at the age of 13 he travelled to Kami House to train with Master Roshi alongside Goku. Krillin's favourite food is Chinese buffet, his favourite vehicle is a sports car, and his favourite hobby is karaoke. Oh! Hopefully you keep that to me and you understood everything I said. If you didn't, we'll go and rewind this video. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something about Krillin you didn't know beforehand. Yes, I may have made pronunciation errors, but it's more difficult than it sounds. And yeah, I'm pretty much dead and tired right now of just doing that. I hope you follow us on social media and you smash that like button to help support our videos and uh, watch our other Dragon Ball content that we have covered other characters and let me know what character you want us to cover next. We see you guys next time and we love you guys. See ya. I'd rather die on my feet with my head held high.